Welcome back to week 34 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. And as you can see here, this is on the Completionist tab on the wonky achievements uh, layout UI thing. Um, I have now completed Unlocking Waco and all of the other uh, parts right here that I need. Um, so that means I don't have to earn any more chimes in the arc uh, if I don't want to. Um, I now have everything I need for comp, which is basically these three things, and then the first level of the commodity sell price, and I think the first level of the supply cost reduction. Um, yeah. Awesome. Just picking up the end of that clip, but there's 90 construction. Um, just doing the, uh, the stuff that costs gold right now, sending, uh, my friend Steve back and forth to the bank, uh, with my noted teak logs here. Um, I'll eventually start using up the special teaks. I just got tired of running around. Uh, so yeah, there's 90, which means I got the architect, and I believe that's the last uh, ports adventure, unless there's one for farming. Uh, nope, that is the last one. Not bad. Doing a little bit of grinding at Livid Farm, and thought I would record this it's level 97 fletching. Uh, still got 25k broad arrows to go through and make while I just sit here. I'm doing the, um, like, cheapest stuff, so I'll do the string jewelry, I'll do the encourage, and I will cure the plants. Uh, not doing the fertilizing for now. I might later on. Um, but all that stuff, it, it's the cheapest way to get produce points. Um, and it saves me time from having to do uh, rune crafting and whatnot. Oh, hey, and I picked up 88 farming. So, uh, I ended up making quite a few planks. 3k right here, and that was just enough running back and forth for me. Um, so now I'm gonna do something kind of fun that I've, uh, let, uh, build up. And that's, uh, I have a lot of Harmony Moss Pillars to, to pick the moss off of. It's just some nice farming XP. I just did a farming run, and I'm actually going to uh, end the night here. Um, but, I will show off one more thing I took care of right after this. Bam. Okay, cool. So that was like 14k farming or whatever for 14 Harmony Moss. Oh! And I got the title of the Melior. Nice. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of uh, saplings down here pre-made. I figured I, uh, I should go ahead and do that eventually. Um, so I just went through, like, all of my higher tier seeds, and I put them into plant pots. Uh, it took a little bit of time to actually buy them up. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I planted my first spirit sapling in Port Serum. So I've got the spirit saplings, the Calquat, and then, you know, going down the line from, from magic to willow, and then papaya, pineapple, and curry, and I will probably end up making more curries, uh, just because I do have the seeds up here. Yeah. Oh, and I did do another hour at Byers, uh, but I haven't, haven't quite gotten to where I can disassemble this or even siphon that. On to the next day, and I just barely missed it, uh, but I picked up Hunter level 92, uh, which marks me at the halfway point for Hunter. Uh, I did pick up 91 earlier this morning as well, and I'm just going to keep doing this for a little while. Uh, eventually I'm going to end up running out of Chaos Runes, and probably running low on Soul Runes, um, but I will stay here for as long as I can. Well, with uh, this crystallize, the first tick, there we go, uh, there's 93 Hunter. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty quick, uh, but these levels are starting to slow down, and I'm gonna run out of soul runes before too long. Uh, I'm not actually gonna be able to make it to my goal, which is 96 for ornate turtles, um, but I'll be able to make it most of the way there, so I guess I'm just gonna keep uh, camping it out here. And here it is. This is going to be level 94, Hunter, right? Now. Or, or okay, there. And now making some mud runes. I took advantage of the Wicked Hoods uh, three daily teleports. Um, I still don't have the Omni Talisman, so I don't get four. Uh, but um, I have plenty of Lumberyard teleports saved up in the bank from doing clue scrolls. Um, 
yeah, so I'm just collecting some of these. Um, I'll get like five or six hundred, something like that. I only have three hundred super magics right now, but I can always make more, and it is worth uh, quite a bit of Herbler XP. Just doing a farm run as uh, as usual, I guess, and uh, came and picked up Limpwort Roots from this flower patch. It's a Mauritania task, and I just so happened to complete the Mauritania Easy task set. Uh, not gonna claim it right now, but uh, hey, completed something completely by accident. Casually doing some Firewatch, and I just picked up 93 attack. Uh, of course it didn't unlock anything, but hey. And I'm going to end off today by getting quite close to 352 million XP. I'm also, um, you'd see about a third of the way through this Hunter level, going towards 95. And uh, I've only got like 130, okay, 129 casts left of um, Crystallize before I have to like leave Grinwalls. Um, and then I'll probably just go do normal Tortles un until 96, and then uh, Ornate Tortles after that. Um, yeah. I also did some math, and I'm hoping to, like, I have these hopes to finish this series before too long. Um, but with my current, like, plan set in mind, I have to earn, like, 4 million XP per day to really comfortably get there. And, okay, my box trap despawned. Uh, but that's, like, kind of absurd, especially considering I have classes starting. But, uh, we'll see if I can keep up with those levels of gains. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. And on to the next day, just barely missed it, uh, but there's 95 Hunter. Which means I can now catch Crystal Implings, which is something I'm, I was really looking forward to. Uh, it's something that I actually need for comp. Uh, so the next time I see one, I'm going to go grab my butterfly net and, like, the one jar that I have in my bank. I don't know, I think I have, like, ten of them. Uh, and catch me a Crystal Impling, because I do need them. Uh, it's for the uh, dance in that one guy's house in Priff with all the Implings there. Yeah. So I'm now total level 2615, uh, which means I'm 100 levels away from comping, like, officially. Um, but this will make it 99, like, right there it is. Okay, cool. So there's 93 agility. Just picking up some agility XP. Earlier I did do an hour of Firewatch. I grabbed myself something to eat, and I did a farm run. Uh, and then I came over here for half an hour. And there's 94 attack. Uh, also, I did some tortles for the first time, and I got uh, well on my way to 96 hunter. Also, 89 farming. Uh, that's pretty nice. I th think that unlocks something. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. The last spirit tree I can plant. Uh, I think that's in... Yeah, I can't remember. Um, yeah, but I need to go plant the other two uh, spirit trees that I'm av uh, able to. And uh, back to doing some tortles eventually, and uh, there is 96 Hunter, so that gives me uh, ornate tortles. Well, I just woke up, and today is the day Minifos comes out, um, so I'm kind of excited. I'm hoping that it actually helps me in my progress towards comps, uh, not deters me, because there are a lot of quests and stuff that I have to do, but um, yeah, it looks like I've got some stuff to take care of. Okay, wow, this looks a lot nicer than it did before. I'm actually excited to see Minifalls for the first time, and I'm going to go unlock it because there is a uh, quest guide of sorts up for the first quest, that being uh, Crocodile Tears here. Or, no, Jack of Spades, yeah. Alright, this, this is pretty cool. I'll give it that. <laughs> oh, dude, as a part of this quest... I now have access to the Minifos Grand Exchange. I'm so happy about that. And there's the quest complete, Jack of Spades. Bam. And am I going to get the broadcast? No, I don't actually know what this broadcast is for. They uh, said on Reddit that they're going to be removing it, but I <laughs> think it's pretty funny that there's this, like, broadcast across all worlds that's popping up every uh, every few minutes. Okay, so either I'm crazy, because I missed it the first time around, uh, this was just added, or, yeah, I don't know, but, um, 
it looks like I have to uh, actually unlock a few more things from the ARC reward shop. Uh, that being the Teletabs, the Crystal Tool Siphon Blueprint, uh, Commodity Cell Price Increase, and Supplies Cap Increase. I uh, didn't know I had to, um, had to do all that. Also want to note that uh, as per the wiki, uh, I believe for the next two weeks, um, I will double check though, uh, even Iron Man can get a 5% XP bonus on all experience earned in the city. Um, I think that's going to help with my herb lore, and it is two months, so yeah, for the next two months from today, uh, that goes to, like, August 5th or something like that. Um, so that's quite a lot of time, uh, and it means that all of my fletching, all of my herb lore, all of the smithing outside of Artisan's Workshop that I do... Yeah, all of that is going to be taken care of over there. I don't think there's a summoning obelisk, but, uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, just something to note. Something people might want to take advantage of. Alright, so with this, um, this new Your Own Slayer Master thing, um, basically you have to get a soul from each of the 141 Slayer monsters that are currently in the game. Uh, at least, I think that's the number. Uh, you start out with 25 of these little things. You have to buy more of them, uh, and each one costs like 20 Slayer points, which I have like none of, so it's gonna be some Slayer grind to get that unlocked. Um, but I have a feeling that part of it uh, is going to become a comp requirement, uh, and even so, I need to do, you know, strength and attack training, um, plus doing things like seed aside, getting more herbs, um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to do some of them, um, but I'm, I, I'm still in fear of 120 Slayer becoming a comp requirement before I actually finish, so uh, yeah, I may as well do as much of it as I can. Alright, so I picked up a uh, 100 Slayer, and that actually did increase my total level, uh, so the total is no longer 2715 as of today, it's uh, 20 higher, I think, um, or 21 higher, something like that. Um, yeah, but I don't think the 120 is required for comp until, like, August. I don't think so, but yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm also just doing this to get the um, get the soul, and uh, I need the charms still. I haven't completed summoning, and I need quite a few charms to do that. Well, I did quite a lot of work for my classes. Uh, at least got like a week ahead in one, and like a half a week ahead in the other. And um, now I'm just gonna find a world for dark beasts. It's my current Slayer task. I have been doing some Slayer, um, partially for the charms partially for the farming XP, the gold is nice, uh, I'm getting some invention XP, and I'm doing melee the entire time, which I need to do regardless. Um, also, I'm trying to get those souls sometimes. Uh, but I definitely do need more Slayer points in the first place uh, to comp, uh, and I guess a lot of people are going to be camping them. Whatever, um, eventually I'll find a world. Hey, there's 90 strength. And even though I died on an automaton task, it happened at, like, the perfect time so that I could disassemble this. Nice. Uh, that is 105 Invention, which means I have the last level of Charge and Junk Drain Reduction. And, uh, yeah, I now have some Saren components as well, because that was an attuned Crystal Halberd that I disassembled. So, rip the seed, but it was worth it. Well, I'm ending off today by just taking more advantage of the 5% XP buff here. Um, got kind of bored of Slayer, and there's only so much more I need to do. I ended up with a Monetary of Ascension uh, task, so I don't really want to go do that, because that's ranged and it gives me nothing, really, aside from maybe some Fletching XP. Um, but yeah, I did end up passing 360 mil total XP today. Um, yeah, that, that, that's about it. On to tomorrow. And on to the next day. I did an hour of Virewatch already, and uh, now I'm just picking up 97 Herblore. Um, just burning through the supplies that continue to build up since I'm bothering to do farm runs. And, uh, yeah, doing Virewatch, you know, they give quite a few herbs. Um... It's nice that I can now make the Holy Overloads and the Searing Overloads without boosting. Um, 
Yeah, if only I had supplies for either of those. So I'm here in Heffen doing an agility hour. I see a crystal impling and I manage to get it in a jar on the first try. Like, the first swipe of the butterfly net. Got it. That's... That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I need that, uh, actually. Wow. Back here at Firewatch. Uh, as I mentioned, I already did an hour earlier this morning. Uh, but I just started this hour. And uh, even though I don't think I'm on an optimal world, um, there's 91 strength. That's just another level. <laughs> Alright. Oh man! 99 prayer. Firewatch are OP. So, uh, yeah, I was actually expecting that. Um, I just, it popped up while I was watching a YouTube video, but at least I didn't miss the clip. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, won't be able to pick up the cape immediately. And, oh, oh yeah, never going to unlock those. No, that's going to take way too long. Um, but yeah, hey, one more down. That's uh, number 16. Alright, and here is buying the prayer skill cape. There we go. Let's just pop that stuff together. Nice. That old retro look. Looking really nice. Like the uh the yellow trim on this one quite a lot. Awesome. And there is my last skill to ninety. That is ninety all skills. Uh wait, what? It doesn't say down there, but I'm pretty sure it is, yeah, okay, yeah, it doesn't tell you, it tells everybody else, but there's 90 everything on the next day, day 237. Whew. Happy about that one, uh, but don't have that Elder Tree Seed, oh man. And right around here should be an attack level, yeah, one more kill. Let me just take care of that. Um, there we go. That is 95 attack. Uh, also, no more unlocks, but yeah, of course. And back to buyers. Before too long, I'm also going to start hitting uh, 100 fire making, and I'm probably going to hit like 103 HP. <laughs> and there's 98 fletching. I'm deciding to start picking up my broad arrowheads again, at least until I hit 99. Uh, because I'm sitting at 40.4 mil gold, like 11 mil of alchemals in the bank, I think 10 mil of spirit shards, and then a um, few mil in miscellaneous still, like, I have way more than enough gold now that I've started to do Firewatch again. Oh, whoops, I was eating pizza and I hit 94 agility on my first lap. I forgot that I was so close to the level there. Gemstone Dungeon Crevice Shortcut. Don't even know, I've never seen that content. Never looked at the gemstone dragons once. Well, I went out to the Ark, and I did an ornate turtle spot, and I uh, did some normal turtles as well. Got quite a bit of XP, um, more than half of level 96 uh, all in one go, and some chimes to boot. Uh, and then I came over here for Treyhern Hour. It's actually been kind of a slow day, but that's probably because I've... Uh, I don't know, just felt sleepy all day for some reason. Oh yeah, and I did uh, Tears of Guthix earlier, put it into farming, and uh, made some more planks for construction, uh, used some planks up as well just to barely get my uh, construction over my farming, and it looks like they're almost equal right now, yeah. Uh, 5,582,000, 167, and uh, 259, so they're just within uh, 150 XP of each other pretty much. Uh, yeah. Decided to push myself and stay up a little bit later, just to pick up this hunter level. Uh, yeah, I felt like I hadn't earned enough XP for the day, so I wanted to try and knock out a few hundred more K. So I just went and, you know, used all my chimes for supplies. First Uncharted Isle, having to have, uh, ornate turtles, which will pay for themselves, pretty much. Um, almost done with the spot, then I'm heading to sleep on to the last day for this week. And on to day 238, there's the end of the Jed Hunter mini-quest. And I get a medium hunter XP lamp. Cool, 25k XP. 
just so happened to pick up the level 98 hunter. I actually didn't plan that. I was just doing the quest. I happened upon a uh, shiny turtle. Um, ah, what's it called? Ornate turtle spawn. Uh, while I was looking for the uh, guys you have to kill for the jet hunter quest, and it got me just within range for that level. Awesome. Uh, plan to get to that 99 soon. And there's I for an eye complete, which gives a prayer lamp that's useless, but all right, cool. And I think that's a Nubakami for me. And there's Harbinger. That was actually a uh, really short, and for a medium uh, construction XP lamp, quite worth it. And there's Ghost from the Past, which was actually faster. And damage control taken care of. Think I might be able to knock out all the rest of these. And to a late to a to a we late own something like that. I have no idea how to pronounce those words. And that's the last of the Ark mini quests. I unlocked the uh, title of the Ark, and I got a large combat lamp. Just gonna throw that on to attack for 30k XP. Sure. And uh, time to go buy something from the reward shop. The um. Commodity sell price increase, I think it is. Whatever, like, makes the ornate turtle bowls worth one more chime each. That thing. Yeah. And there's 106 Invention. And Strength is now halfway there. I, uh, switched over to, um, doing just Strength training so I could knock out that level. Guaranteed in this hour. And, uh, yeah, back to Attack and Strength. Also, I'm getting really close to 100 fire making, so I guess I've done a lot of fire watch. Okay, what the hell? I got the brains pet while picking an exuberry bush here. <laughs> I swear, I think this is one of the pets that's on the XP drops and not based on how many XP drops you get, like the size of them. So that's actually insane. Um awesome I will unlock that and I'm actually like most proud of that pet because I think it's the rarest that I have so far so I will equip brains as my override the little fella just did a uh, exu I mean a, a shiny turtle spot over here finished it up on my claimed island and uh huh that's fun maybe I'll get the hunter pet before I finish hunter huh pretty close to that though and it's that time bam 99 hunter taken care of oh and I guess I'm getting a little extra XP here too <laughs> uh, hey 299's two weeks in a row pretty happy about that um, I think I get the cape near here I actually have no idea so I'll be back in just a moment with the cape I was exactly right. Yeah, that's where you get it. Skill cape of hunter. Certainly, I am happy to pay that. Oh, I didn't need whatever you get from activating it. Oh, Juju Hunter. That's actually quite useful. Um, and there it is. The little doggo paw. And uh, don't think I got anything from it. Nothing unlocked, but I didn't really expect to. Um... And with that, that's actually the end of this week. Uh, quite close to 372 million EXP. Really happy with the gains for this week, actually. Um, somewhere around the 22, 23, maybe 24 million range. Um, and a decent number of levels throughout. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for this week, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and... Well, I'm excited. I, everything's starting to pick up pace, and uh, yeah, can't wait for these next few weeks. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. See you next week.